Hello students. I'm not sure if you know this, but this week is Teacher Appreciation Week and this Sunday is Mother's Day. Things have been kind of crazy. Things have been kind of different with being at home and with all of that means stores are closed. I'm actually not positive what I'm going to do for all of my moms. I have three mother-in-laws, so I've got to get thinking and I've got to get planning and I need to do it fast. So one of the things that I think is really important, and I know it's difficult this year, it's difficult because there's not a store that we can go to. I mean, there's some stores that are open, but I know some of the places that my mom in particular likes to shop at, Nordstrom's, I don't think it's gonna be open, but it will one day. So I could get her a gift card, but I'm gonna tell you, so I understand if some of you are thinking, but I have no money. That was me. That was me my entire life. I never had any money. I never had a dad that could go and take me shopping and get something for my mom. So I had to really get creative. One year, I remember going through all of our photos and I found photos of when I was a little baby and I found photos of, I don't know when I made this, maybe I was 10 or 11 and I put them up right next to each other. I put then, now, then, now, and I just made this whole photo album of kind of before and after pictures. I don't know what you'd want to call it. My mom loved it. So photo albums are a great idea. So if you have an old photo album that maybe you haven't used, mom will love that. Something that I want to recommend is ask mom, what do you want to watch? Because a lot of times maybe you have the remote. Now something I've been asking for my family to do with me and actually they're, they're coming through. I believe it's going to happen, but I say, I, I want to watch a Disney movie together. I love Shirley Temple. So maybe we'll watch something like that. You can also maybe not only make a photo album, but maybe write in the photo album what you like about your mom. Get creative, make something. This year, my daughter has been working on making me a shelf. So you don't need necessarily money, but you do need to be creative and you need to start now. So this is taking the place of five minutes of gratitude. The reasons why it's taking the place is we are going to express gratitude to the people that help us a lot. So that means this week, I want you to say thank you to all of your teachers. Write them an email and say, thank you for teaching me. Thank you. And, and then explain to them what they have taught you. Your science teachers have probably taught you something different than your math teachers. You might say, but I'm not really thankful for what I've learned. You absolutely are thankful for what you've learned. You just don't realize how thankful you are right now because you don't realize how much you use it. So take time to thank all the people in your life that have helped you in particular this week, your teachers and your mom. So I gave you some ideas of what you could do for mom or your mom figure. Um, some of you, I grew up without a dad, so I didn't really like Father's Day, but there is somebody in your life that is helping you. So maybe you don't have a mom, but maybe somebody's like a mom figure. Maybe it's a grandma, maybe, maybe it's dad. So on Mother's Day, do something for whoever that person is that helps you out a lot. So some ideas, make breakfast, make them breakfast in bed. This means you actually have to get up before they get up. Make them a card, make them a photo album if you have that. You could make even an infographic on the computer and take different pictures, put them all together and possibly print it out or just share it with them digitally. There are so many different ways. And here, here's what you're not, we're not finished yet because I want to know, I want to know what you did. So attached to this assignment, what I'd like you to do is you're just going to attach it and you're just going to say, this is what I did and just write it out. You don't need to cut and paste your card. You don't need to cut and paste all of your thank yous, but I do want to know. I want to know what you did. I know I'm not grading this. So is this optional? Yes, but I really hope you'll share it with me because this is how gratitude grows. Gratitude grows by appreciating the people around you. Gratitude grows by recognizing the people around you. And what gratitude does is it actually takes your life from a downward spiral to an upward spiral. So the more you say thank you, the more you appreciate the people in your life and you recognize what they're doing, your life becomes better. And as a result, everything around you becomes better. Cannot wait to hear what you do. And I need to get started. I need to start planning and I need to do this as well. A lot of times we say, do random acts of kindness, but there is nothing random about giving gift and doing something kind. And this is why, because it takes thought and plan. Now, if you're watching this, I hope you're watching this before 
Saturday or Sunday. I hope you're watching it on Thursday, which is the day that it's assigned. So you have a couple days. Take time. Take extra time. The best gift that anyone could really and truly receive is the gift of encouragement. So again, you may not have any money. One of my favorite things is when people will write something on just one little card. You could even frame it. You could get a frame at the 99 cent store. Is that opened? I think it is. Uh, you could take an old frame and you could just, you could even take a note card and just write what you love about mom, mom-like figure, grandma. That means more. That means more than an expensive gift. So think about what are the qualities that you appreciate that in them? Maybe spell out their name and different qualities that you think that they have, but make it encouraging, make it meaningful. And really, I believe that this is going to be the best Mother's Day ever because you are not spending your money, but you're spending your thoughts and you're spending your time and you're spending your effort. So I cannot wait to hear what you do. And I miss you and I love you and I hope that you're all doing well. And I wish I could see you in person and we could work on this together, but I will be reading what you write and you can even ask me what I do. I think I'm going to be making a card. I'm going to be dropping off flowers and I'm going to be working on some little gifts too. I have to get creative just like you do. I hope that you have a fantastic week and that you get started. So again, this is taking the place of five minutes of gratitude. Does that mean I'm not going to write in my journal this week? No, actually, I write in my journal every single morning. This is just in addition to practicing gratitude. So practicing gratitude is more than just writing in your journal. It's really noticing and recognizing the people in your life that do things to help you, that encourage you.